not the vlog I was hoping to do today. But just walking Dixie around the school. She hasn't eaten any food. She's got very runny, runny poos. And when we tried to move her, she bit me on my shoulder. Tried getting her to eat some of her feed and she wouldn't eat any of it. So now I'm waiting on the emergency vet. You can see she's got her head hung relatively low. It's not her cell. She looks like she's sweated up through the night. Come on, baby. So now I've got to keep walking her until the vet shows up. Well, I was hoping to do a little bit of a training vlog today and see how well Apollo has remembered. Oh, good girl. Her training. It's okay. It's okay. But she's just not herself. My poor girl. Um, and it's not like Dixie not to want to eat or have anything, not even treats. She won't even take a stud muffin. So, and she loves them. So, um, yeah, something's not right. So I have called the vet and they're going to get here as soon as possible. But normally, walking around the school like this, she would be tanking and just pulling with her head held high. And now I've got this. But my poor baby is not all right. Come on, sweetheart. Oh, good girl, I know. Just wait for the vet, I suppose. I know, Tricker is calling like mad. You come in? Come on, sweetheart. Come on, you've got to keep moving. Come on, baby. Come on, sweetheart. Come on, you've got to move. Good girl. Good girl. It's not like my Dixie to be like this. I'm relatively worried. As you can see, I have been crying, but then again, she did bite me incredibly hard right on my shoulder. I now have a lovely bruise forming because we had to snuck her nose to let me go. Oh, we picked our head up. We've heard something. No? You come in? Come on then. i change the rain with her and get her to walk in the other rain. It's okay, baby. It's okay. So, um, yeah, I had a lot planned today as well, <laughs> didn't we, Dick? See, after yesterday, we said what a good day we'll have today and start doing some training. Hey, baby, and now you're like this. I have to just put her onto the other rain. We had a bit of a, a moment there when Dad shouted. Now go on. You're very lethargic, aren't you, my girl? Hey? You're lethargic, my love. You're not your normal self. If I was in training, I would like her head hung low and stretching all that back. I'm not asking for it. You okay now? sweetheart Good girl. will they stay with her there you go Good girl.
silly person is left in the middle of the school. Can you come in? Good girl. That's it. We don't need it, do we? Come on. Come on, my baby. Come on, sweetheart. What worries me right now is her lack to not want to do anything. I'm hoping that's my vet coming. So the vet has been, Joe's absolutely lovely. He's come up as quick as he could and um, seen to Dixie. I'm just leaving them in peace and quiet now. He's given Dixie a painkiller. Um, she's not herself. She's quite sore on her legs. She's tucked up and loose. So we've had the painkiller given to her. I've got some antibiotics to help with her legs and her stomach, which is a bit iffy at the moment because she's so loose in her poo. I'm going to come back later anyway. I was coming back anyway, but yeah, you know what I mean. Come back later to check on her. She is parking up just a little bit now, but she's still not herself. But he said, I put her hay nets up. If she wants to eat, she can eat. She's got plenty of water. Just keep checking on her. So I will do. I've literally just got to go and take Hazel to get some food because she is hungry. And then we'll come back and stay a fair few hours with her. Just keeping an eye on her. If there is any more issues and she goes downhill further, call the vet back out. So, let's see how she is when she, we come back. We come back to Rug and Mall Lab and she's a bit happier, which is what we like. So we came in and she had her head at the door and I snickered. Yeah, she did, didn't you, baby? That's what we wanted to hear. She has drunk some water. She has drunk some, eaten some of her hay, Dad. Yeah. She's just not eaten. Her hard feed, should I give her another feed in with the antibiotics? No. No? Do that tomorrow. But she's had it before. Garlic, honey chopping garlic. She's had it before. That's much better. You're so much better, my love. Yes, right. I hope Dad do tricks. So she's feeling better in herself. Earlier we couldn't even get scratches or cuddles with you, could we? Hello, little Lynn. Apollo has literally been watching over her the whole time. But now I can touch her and stroke her and cuddle her, so she's feeling a little bit better. She still hasn't eaten all of her food from this morning, so I've added some more water. And just to make it a little bit more like soup for her, really. If it is her mouth that's causing an issue, but we don't know. We'll reevaluate her again in the morning. She's perked up a lot compared to what she was earlier. So I'm quite happy about that. But I love you, my darling. She did have me very worried earlier. She is, um, as you can see now, very wanting a lot of cuddles. So I see if you will have a treat. She didn't have one earlier at all. Yes, hello, my little ginger. Nobody has forgotten about you. You're just a baby, so, and obviously. Tricky tracks is all right, aren't you? <laughs> she's like, yes, I'm fine. Give me a treat, mum. Yeah, there. She's got to stay in for a few more days, just until you know we've gone past the worst of what's ever's ever's wrong with her. Obviously, I feel really bad because she was absolutely fine yesterday, and then this morning coming up, seeing her as she was, was never is never nice when it's your own horse and. You see them very not wanting anything. Right. Are we going to take one? Oh, oh, it's okay. It's okay. Yeah. You want a treat, so that's fine. Yes, I haven't forgotten about you either. I can't give one without giving the other. But a lot of a happier horse. A lot happier horse, aren't we? Yeah. There's mummy's fingers. No, you can't bite my fingers, baby. Very happier. Well, not very happy. Happier than what she was this morning. Which makes me a little bit more happy and a little more settled leaving her now. So, we have been up here for a little while. Just keeping an eye on her, keeping a close watch, making sure she didn't go downhill again. But she is going to the toilet. So, it's not colic, which is what I was really scared of to begin with. 
but she's just right now she just wants love and attention and cuddles which is my normal dixie don't you <laughs> you just want love and attention and cuddles don't you which is normally you and when we walked in her head was over straight over the door and she was calling where this morning we didn't have any of that so you're back a little bit back to your old self i would like you to eat some more of your food though but Granddad's going to check on you later, isn't he, before he goes off to darts. And then Mummy will be back in the morning. So Dad's going to come up. He's going to leave earlier before he's off to darts to come up and check on her again. Because obviously we don't want her going downhill any more than what we've had this morning. But it's nice to see her like she is now, over the door, having cuddles, not stood in the back of her stable. So all in all this vlog wasn't as what i had actually planned to do today i had planned to do a little bit of training with them right bye bye kiddies is everybody locked in yes is everybody just need to double check um i had planned to start bringing this one back into work today yes but we'll do it on monday now because you always have weekends off and little one here doing some leading i need to check your stable use the camera so you've got plenty of hay left and you've still got nearly full hay nets my little girl so granddad will give you some more later if you need it um yeah to bring all three of them back into work was the plan of the vlog today what we were doing but with dixie bad no my head was all over the place i wasn't gonna you know it's hard it's really hard especially when i've been with dixie for a very long time it's um hard to see her in pain so the painkillers have worked, her feed is all pretty much ready for tomorrow morning with the antibiotic in. So hopefully tomorrow I can get some food into her better. But we'll see. See what she is. Anyway, thanks for watching guys. Sorry it's I've been away for so long. I lost a family member. Um, so I needed time to sort of get my head around things. But yes, I'm now off home. I'm gonna go have some food by my lovely partner who's cooking a steak tonight. Anyway, bye guys. I can promise you that there is going to be a Week in the Life vlog going up next Friday. But in the meantime, I thought I would share with you a few little goodies that I got from a very good friend of mine, Abby, who runs AFK Equestrian. So, would you guys like to see what I have actually got in my lovely goodie bag that Abby actually brought down today? We went out together today along with my partner we went out and spent the day with family and friends because well, Abby is a sort of extended family but anyway shall we crack on so these are the Rhine Gold camouflage leggings that have a full seat and a beautiful pocket on the back a little bit like my HKM ones that is actually quite deep. So I got these ones. These are a size 16 and they are incredibly stretchy, which is one of the reasons I like them. Obviously, my horses, winter abscesses. Yeah. Bet wrap, pink, purple, no nabby, and blue. Pretty much I ordered three and yeah they're a very good price for three of them what else we got in this little goodie bag we don't want that ha, ha, ha. this is my in hand it's windsor english leather in hand lead drain basically it goes like that for showing this year so hopefully i'm going to do a little bit of showing with Dixie and Apollo. So it kind of come in handy when Abby had that up. Abby Wabs. So you can see she's put my um, name on it to know it was me. So this is the Kurt Flex and this is a bioavailable source of curcum extracted from turmeric to support um, the maintenance of joints. So I'm going to try this with Apollo and Dixie because they have joint, well, they're still growing and they're still filling out. So 
they finally need them. And of course, <laughs> I don't come out of, well, I don't order off of any shop really without walking away with something from HKM. So these are my brand new showing jods. I'm trying to get them out of the packet as well. I actually sealed them so good I can't get them out. <laughs> but these are my showing jodhpurs from HKM. I have now have the complete collection. So it's this is from the Lavender Bay collection. Sorry, it's all stuck. The Lavender Bay collection. So I have the dark lavender. No, yeah, dark lavender, the top, and now my wipes. They have, again, these have the beautiful pocket on the back. And look at that gold detailing. It is beautiful. These are also a full seat, which another reason I absolutely love HKM is for their stickiness on the full seat. I will put those back in the bag because they have to go in the bag. And I can't open this one. <laughs> Lower. These are sterling still silver because I can only wear um, proper silver, uh, sterling silver in my ears or nine karat gold. So, cheers, apps. I got these off Abby as well. So, these are little horseshoe studs, which I am going to wear tomorrow. And these ones are the little dangly horseshoe with the horse's head in the middle. I'm just trying to get my phone to focus. There we go. So I've got those off abs as well. Cheers, Abby, Abby. Love you. Okay, that's the first bag done. Now on to the second bag. I've got something in my hair, haven't I? No. Oh, God. What we got? We've got some healthy treats. Abby always gives me healthy treats or treats of any kind. So healthy treats, which will come in really, really handy for the girls. Kickballs. This is Dermacell cream that I'm going to try for Apollo's Rain Scold and obviously Dixie and Tricker's Mud Fever. So it's all safe, natural ingredients. Oh, that smells much like vapor rub. If you're old enough to know what that is. But that smells a lot like vapor rub and I actually really, really like that. I have got something in my hair, haven't I? Yes, I have. I can see it at the corner of my eye and it's bugging me. It's a little sticker. There we go. Okay. A shampoo brush. <laughs> because mainly I got this mainly because of Apollo being a baby. I can stick the shampoo and the water in here and just squeeze and give her a nice scrub when it's time for bathing her. That's her. Try scrub because again my tack box my horses I use a lot of heavy scrub and basically that so that is going to come in very 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 handy and it will probably sit in my tack box look how cute this is this is for hazy it is a charm bracelet it always got a horse charm on it but how cute is that for hazel I need to put that away as well okay so the most expensive buy, Abby Abs. These are the USG, and they're the hot and cold boots, which also come with packs in them. Now, if you know Trix and you've been following my channel for quite a while, you know Trix's legs do swell when she's in. So they basically fill with fluids and get a little bit swollen and a little bit hot. So I've got these off of Abby to help tricks when she has been stabled, especially in the winter we have had. So when she is in stables or if we've done hard work or anything like that, I can put these on either cool her legs or warm her legs up. Again, this is mainly for tricks just to help her as she is getting older and in her old age, she is starting to feel a little bit stiff and achy and everything like that. So. I take care of my golden oldie because I absolutely love my golden oldie. I would not be here without her. So, cooling boots activated, yeah. Two packs. 
black outer lining, easy, 100% care of this can be used hot or cold, side pocket for hot and cold composts, hot or cold separately, number of item, please buy, yeah, yeah, I already know that bit, so yeah, that is the hot and cold bulties, I've got to put all this away to go up the yard tomorrow as well, but hey, hey, not too bad, nice little buy off of Abby, <laughs> again, like I said, it's just a little thing to keep you guys still here thank you for the 135 subscribers you guys are amazing but just a little bit of what i got off of abby i also have a few other things off of millstream which i do actually have coming which i already had delivery off of them but yeah i have some more stuff coming off of millstream <laughs> and more stuff coming off of abby as well but me and abby are doing very well Abby has just started her AFK business, so I'll put her link in the description below. I'm nice and warm in my Ariat coat, and I really don't want to take it off because my house is just that little bit cold at the moment. And obviously tonight I'm not with my partner. He is at his home and I am here. So, yes, so we are. We don't live with each other at the moment. That's all to come in a completely separate vlog. <laughs> we are here. I'm hoping he will be in a few upcoming vlogs, especially the Week in the Life vlog, because that is going to be relatively interesting because next week is incredibly busy. We are very busy. We are working. Dad is busy. I am busy. We have the car that's going into the garage to have some repairs done. I have the dentist for the horses. Hazel has dentist and opticians. And a hair appointment so yes we are incredibly busy so i'm taking you guys on that little bit of a journey with us throughout the week of the life especially when we start to come in to spring and summer because our routines start to change and luckily enough all three of my girls are doing loads better with their weights we are keeping monitoring them as you will see on tuesday when well on Friday because a week in the life of vlog is going up next Friday but you will see it and you'll obviously understand and understand a little bit of how my life works and how the girls life works through everything and especially yeah basically but I'm hoping I can get him in a vlog he is not very in the camera sort of face of style so we will see Anyway, thank you guys for following me. Thank you for your messages asking where I am, how I am, and how the girls are. But I needed a break off of social media, off of platforms, just to get my head around everything that has been going on and basically get my own head screwed on straight because I was in no frame of mind of doing any sort of vlogging. However much I would love to keep you guys updated in all aspects of this journey, I needed two weeks to literally just completely reset. I was going through a lot of stress. I've actually lost one of a, a good friend because of their own personal issues that they decided to, um, well, basically extend on me, which was nothing to do with me, by the way. But yeah, that's it. I needed time. I have had the time. I am back with you. You guys will get a vlog on monday but i'm also filming a week in the life of so please stay tuned and keep watching please hit that thumbs up and if you are feeling very supportive and you're not already please go like and subscribe you can obviously check any few recent vlogs that are down on my channel please go have a look i'm quite happy any questions please message me throughout business working times which is nine to five i will get back to you but please do not message me through private on my Instagram unless I have not answered your email. Thank you very much. Goodbye everyone and see you all in the next vlogs.